Guys, this is Collor here with Diggity, and we are beginning our casts of the MSL Round of Eight. By the way, before I say anything, please check out my account. I have a playlist of every single game from the Round of 16, organized from Group A to H. There's 30 video parts in there, and it took me a lot of time to make it, so if you want to find out where a game is, uh, it crosses all four of our accounts, including Biotech. Anyway, this is Cal versus, um, Cal versus Stork. Protoss versus Protoss here. Um, what are your predictions, Diggity, before we get started at all? Wow. I, I'm going to have to go with Stork just because he's been playing so so well lately. It looks like, we, by the way, we've got Cal starting in orange. At the 2 o'clock position, we have Stork starting in, I believe that was brown, at the 9 o'clock yep. position. Anyway, but yeah, Stork. Uh, Cal gets through on his creativity, and honestly, I don't think that he's going to be able to beat Stork with just creativity. Stork is too solid a player uh, in my mind, and he's been playing too well lately. So maybe uh, maybe he'll be able to pull one or two games, but I can't see him pulling three out of five uh, against Stork, especially the way Stork's been playing lately. Yeah, I gotta agree here. In a mirror matchup um, with, uh, well, obviously you guys should know this, but with Stork beating Bisu so solidly in the OSL uh, quarterfinals, um, or semifinals actually, uh, it's just, was it semifinals or quarterfinals? It was um, this right semifinals. here. Semifinals. No, no, I'm thinking when? of the OSL, yeah. Stork versus Bisu. Um, but yeah, doesn't matter. I mean, <laughs> Stork, Stork trounced Bisu, and I think Bisu is a, a better player than Cal is. Certainly more experienced. Um, Cal, you know, isn't bad. He just ends up he ends up a, a lot in the uh, round of four or the round of eight of the Star Leagues. But um, you know, his closest was uh, a uh, second place uh, when he got trounced though by Jadon. So we'll have to see. Both players um, looks like getting ten gates and uh, starting their scouting patterns. Yeah, they call him the Joker, and that really, that's a very appropriate name. I think he beat Jangbi, uh, and Jangbi obviously, I think that's Jangbi's weakness. Jangbi is not very good against cheese. Uh, he right. ended up winning, what was that, MSL Season 4? And ended up, yeah, no, taking no. Jangbi's spot. Or was that, yeah, uh, taking was the... that Season 5? Anyway, point being, he beat well. Jangbi, it was Protoss versus Protoss, and it wasn't, uh, and, and that one he stole, I really felt like Jangbi was the better player overall, but Cal ended up just pushing through on creativity. I have to say, I love watching Cal play, he's one of my favorite Pro uh, Protoss players to, to just watch play. He's almost like Nalra in that regard of just really creativity, snagging his gas right there uh, very quickly before Stork could steal it there. Um, <laughs> wanted to make sure Stork wasn't going for anything, doing a, a gas steal and then maybe forcing two gators, or, uh, uh, something like that. Anyway, but um, but yeah, he's just a very, very creative player. We'll see what he's up to. I don't think he can beat Stork heads up, though. So I'm, I do expect him to cheese at least one of these games, and I'm kind of curious how he's going to do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I happen to forget some guy uh, starts with B also. Uh, best? Uh, what? No. Uh, Stork beat Best in the semifinals and beat Bisu, of course, in the quarterfinals of the OSL. So, um, if he can beat Best, I, I just, I gotta favor Stork here in this so much. Anyway, that's the last I'll say about predictions. I'm gonna expect that Stork will take this series unless, uh, well, unless, you know, Lightning hits and, and Cal manages to cheese successfully several times in a row. Um, you know, like you said, I think Stork is the more solid player. Cal is perhaps the more creative player, but uh, I agree with you here. Um, are these identical builds here? Uh, I was busy looking yeah. up um, and having a brain fart. Yeah, looks like uh, both got two pylons. Yeah, and yeah, then and oh, Stork. right there, Stork's going to be able to sneak, sneak it through. It he had that probe come by and just disrupt it a little bit there. That able to was break through really so he can just get clever. That's yeah. one thing for Stork is scouting's going to be very important for him. He does have the best PvP right now, I would say, in the game, period. And he's had it for quite some time. Uh, I don't know what his percentage is wise, but I'm just going to say it from seeing his games. He's the best. And going in and getting some pressure just probe kills there uh, before I ended up losing and forcing those zealots back, really keeping Kel on the back foot. I have to say when it comes to just pure mechanics on pure mechanics, though, which it looks like this this, this uh, series is going into, standard builds here, Protoss versus Protoss, first Dragoon out there uh, for Cal now. I don't think that, that Cal can beat Stork and it just comes to pure mechanics. So, and it looks like that is what it's coming down to, although Cal looks like he might be thinking about doing something more creative here into the mid game. He does have his front door blocked still. He has those two zealots on the front door as well as the two dragoons. Uh, Stork getting range, he's known for, that is the one weakness in Stork's uh, Protoss plays. Some people have said when he when he lacks range, he ends up losing a three gate build <laughs> here for Cal. So Cal's gonna go, uh, gonna go very aggressive into Stork here. We'll see if Stork decides to go uh, 
two gate into robo right now or um yeah he he probably will go into his robo uh right now and it, you know this three gate push could catch him off guard although uh two gate if he goes for reverse first should be able to defend quite well here if he goes for observers and a nexus though he could be in big trouble so we'll have to see um what he decides to do here and uh, stork looks like he's just busy holding his ramp not much going on there uh he didn't get a scout in um well he is uh, certainly he can't get a scout in right now so he has no idea what's going on um surprised that he hasn't built a robotics facility just yet. Looks like he's building pylons around his perimeter. That's going to give him a little more, a uh, little quicker vision. Um, but Cal's going to be pumping out these uh, goons, and it's going to be important to see what Stork decides to do next. He might be, I, I think he might be think thinking about setting up an expand here. And I think that could uh, put him in a lot of, a uh, lot of problems. Yeah, it looks like what he's going to do is he's going to apply some Dragoon pressure, and then he's going to put up an expansion. Uh, I don't see him producing any additional Dragoons. He's not put down additional gateway. He hasn't put down a Robo on top of it, so going for uh, a quick nexus here, interestingly enough, and it looks like Cal might be able to get a scout. This is really going to give a, be a big indicator. No, the scout actually getting killed before it could go in uh, and getting any additional information. But it looks like I'm going to assume that probe heading out right now is going to put down that nexus, and then we're going to see Stork try to uh, play from there. But uh, and actually, no, he's taking his probe out in the field. This is kind of odd, odd behavior from Stork altogether. Sending out dragoons to put up some pressure. Once he sees his dragoon force coming at him, though, he's going to have to back off and he's going to have to run. Cal's in a very, very strong position here. He's got a. Not only does he has, uh, have a superior attack force uh, he's got to, and Stork's got to know now seeing that many Dragoons out in the field he's got to know that Cal has in fact gone three gate uh, Cal didn't look like he was disguising his attack Ooh. force at all he's still putting down the Nexus uh, and wow yeah, I guess he has to at this stage, but we'll see, and it's going to come up to him to really defend it, and uh, Cal's putting down his nexus now as well, but now the, uh, Cal's really got the front foot forward. He can put on pressure, which he's going to right now, uh, and Stork's just going to have to absorb the blows, and I don't know that he's going to be able to. Yeah, Stork forced to do that. Stork had lost a, uh, just a goon there for free. He also lost a zealot inside of his base, so he's definitely behind the forces. Plus, to look at the additional number of goons here. Uh, good target firing here from Cal. I don't know what Stork can do here. Um, with a focus fire here from Cal, he's going to pick off all these goons very soon. Five goons versus, it looks like, six goons, seven goons still for Cal. Eight goons, actually. I can't count. Um, but uh, uh, Stork is not looking good here. Uh, this is the problem with going for two gate goons and then into directly into Nexus. Um, I think he just just totally misanticipated what was going on inside of Cal's base. Uh, this uh, It would have been fine if Cal had gone for fast uh, what, two gate into reverse or something. He might have had a, more of a chance um, to defend. But yeah, Stork is Stork is going to have to go uh, GG here and concede this first game. Um, he's lost almost all of his probes at this point. It doesn't matter if he has an extra Nexus. GG coming from Stork. Uh, huh. Cal, just using the element of surprise. So after we do all the talking up of Stork, here's Stork losing game one, looking, making us look dumb. <laughs> well, uh, we'll go on to game two, though. Uh, really, though, yeah, so Cal, I guess, deserved that win, going three gates from pressure. I guess Stork just thought he was going to play more of a standard game, was trying to win something out from that stage on, knowing Cal had to uh, be, basically beat him through some cheese. But, yeah, we'll see how it goes for them. I, I still don't think he can win a best of three here. Uh, it's a best of five, actually, sir. So I, I think it makes it even less Win three like games, it. yeah. Oh, win three, yeah, anyway. yeah. Um, yeah, anyway. definitely. All right, stay tuned. Game two is on Destination. I uh, hope you enjoyed.